today we're going to be upgrading the instrument cluster and reprogramming the odometer on this Toyota Corolla. The current reading on this odometer is 204,132 kilometers and this cluster does not have a tachometer. Alright so here we've got a used instrument cluster from another vehicle and this got the tachometer and the temperature display option and I'm going to swap this into my car. To remove this instrument cluster there's two Phillips screws at the top here that I'm going to remove and then I can pop off this plastic piece. Next there are three Phillips screws, two at the bottom here and then one at the top there that need to be removed. Alright and then I can pick off the instrument cluster and then I can remove the wiring and remove this instrument cluster from the vehicle. Now I've got my new instrument cluster, I'm going to plug that in. And you'll see here when I start the vehicle that the tachometer works. However, the odometer is currently reading 307,712 kilometers, which is not correct for this vehicle. So here we've got the two instrument clusters, the old one and then the replacement. There's two methods you can use to correct the odometer reading on here. The first easy method is to literally take out the speedometer and odometer assembly from this one and to put it into this assembly here. The second method which will work if you're going from kilometers to miles for example is to actually reprogram the odometer chip on the new cluster to match the equivalent odometer reading on the original cluster. Alright so I'm going to first start by removing this top cover along with this black bezel. I'm just going to go over here and press down on these tabs here. Just like that. Now you're going to want to try not to touch this black face because it's very sensitive to fingerprints. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is remove these five screws here that hold the speedometer sub-assembly to the unit. And now I can remove the speedometer assembly. Now the odometer information on the speedometer here is stored in a little 8-pin chip which is located inside of here. It's this little black chip right here. And if I flip this over here, you can see that these are the eight pins here that we need to desolder in order to get to this chip. Now, of course, you can just swap these chips if it's going from kilometers to kilometers. But if you're going from kilometers to miles, I'm going to show you how to desolder that chip, connect it to your computer, and reprogram it so you have the correct mileage in miles. So this here are the eight pins that I'm going to desolder to get off the dip chip from the board. So I'm going to add a little bit of solder to each pad here just to make it easier to desolder. Alright, so now I'm going to warm up each pad here and then come in with my solder sucker and suck it up. Alright, so I've got the EEPROM chip desoldered there. I'm just going to use my knife to pick it off of the board and then remove it. So this here is the chip removed. It is a 93C46 chip and this here is the dot that indicates that this is pin 1 and that's pin 8 when you connect it to your EEPROM reader. So this here is the EEPROM reader that I'm going to use to connect my EEPROM chip to the serial port on my state-of-the-art Pentium 4 computer so I can read the information. We've got a couple of lines here that come off from the serial port and they go through some 4.7K ohm resistors and then they run in parallel here to these 5 volt Zener diodes and then it goes out to the chip. Over here on this side we've got pins 8 and pins 5 that go to 5 volts and ground respectively. Alright, so here's my setup here. I've got my EEPROM reader with the resistors and diodes soldered onto this little board and I've got a dip socket that's going to accept my 8 pin dip chip. Over here I've got my power and ground wires that go to the power supply of the computer for 5 volts and here I've got the 6 wires that go over to the serial port on the computer. The software I'm using to read from the EEPROM reader is called Ponyprog which is Serial Device Programmer. I'm going to go over to Options and click Setup and then I'm going to make sure it's set to read from the serial port SIPROGIO. Then before I click OK, I can click Probe to make sure that my reader is reading properly. Then I can go over to the device menu and select the MicroWire EEPROM 9346 chip, which is the chip I'm reading from. And then I can click over here, Read, to read all the contents from the chip. So taking a closer look at the odometer dump here, through some trial and error, I was able to determine that the odometer reading is actually stored in these first two lines here, and is repeated three times, here, here, and over here. It is 88 EF, FF, and CF, which are hex characters for the odometer reading. In order to decode the odometer reading, it's actually the inverse hex of the hex in the dump. So if I write out the dump here, 88 EF, FF, and CF at the top here, and I go to my hex lookup table, which is the inverse from 0 to F, backwards again from 0 to F, I can determine my odometer reading. Now that's going to be based on the 100 thousandths column being over here, the 10 thousandths column being over here, the thousands column over here, the hundreds column here, and then the tens column here. Now the ones column I wasn't able to figure out from that dump, it's probably stored somewhere else in the chip. So now if I take the inverse of 8, I've got 7, the inverse of 8, I've got 7, the inverse of E is 1, the inverse of C is 3, and the inverse of F is 0 according to this chart here. 
That gives me a total of 307,770 X kilometers. So now in order to get the mileage to match this vehicle, which is 204,130 kilometers, I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to put the 20413 in the hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, and tens column respectively, and then take the inverse of that. So the inverse of four is B, the inverse of one is E, the inverse of three is C, the inverse of two is D, and the inverse of zero is F. So now what I need to do is replace the BE, CF, FF and DF values in the odometer dump in order to reprogram it to match this mileage. All right, so according to the code here, I'm gonna to need to edit the values in this EEPROM dump. So to do that, I'm gonna click edit, edit buffer enable, and then I can click on any value and edit it. So in this case, I'm gonna change the 88 to a BE and then click okay. Then I'm gonna change EF to CF and then click okay. And then I'm gonna change the last CF to DF. And then I'm gonna continue doing that two more times. So now that I've edited all of the information in the chip, I can go over here and click right to write the new information to the chip. All right, so I got this little eight pin dip socket here and I'm gonna solder it onto this board here so that it's easier for me to do some testing with my odometer programming. So now I've got the dip socket in there. I'm gonna go ahead and solder all of the points. So now that I've got the dip socket soldered onto the odometer board, I can just go in and plug in my chip here, there's no need to resolder it. All right, so there's the chip plugged in. So now before replacing the speedometer into the car, you can actually test it out by putting 12 volts to this terminal here and ground to this wire here. And you'll see that it reads 204,132 kilometers. Now I'm gonna replace the speedometer into the cluster and then reinstall these screws onto the back. So just as a side note, you can also replace these backlight bulbs with the green condoms on them with LED lights. They're 194 style bulbs, you just plug them in and put them in and of course if they don't work because they're LED you can flip them backwards because they're polarized. Alright so now I'm going to go ahead and replace the cluster into the vehicle and now we can fit the cluster back into the housing and then replace this trim piece. Alright and now we're going to start the vehicle and you'll see that the instrument cluster now reads 204,132 kilometers which is correct for this vehicle. Now remember kids it is illegal to misrepresent the mileage on a vehicle by either swapping clusters or reprogramming the old one.